Welcome. Today we are here with a strong, super, and meaningful topic. If you used to skip the other ones, this one you can't afford to miss even one second of it. As you can see it in the title, we are talking about lust. We are going to give you some great tips and Bible verses that will help you overcome it. And if you are already an overcomer, they will help you to help others become also overcomers. As you know it, lust is a temptation and an evil that overcomes many of us. It is born of Satan and the flesh. Every single one of us is subject to lust. If we are to overcome it, trust me guys, we must be strong. I remember a friend of mine who had his girlfriend. He realized that the girlfriend was having multiple boyfriends. But he said that I can't stop loving her. I can't stop sleeping with her. Yet he, he said she, she will never be able to be my, my, my wife. But I can't stop. I can't stop sleeping with her. But listen, one of my favorite Bible verses is Galatians. Galatians 5 verse 16 it says so I say walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh Jesus said in Matthew 5 verse 28 but I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart Proverbs 6 verse 25 says do not lust in your heart after her beauty or let her captivate you with her eyes. King Solomon had so many wives, seven, um, 700 concubines and 300 wives. He was not satisfied. You know, you are to walk according to the word of God in order for you to be satisfied, to be happy in your life. To overcome lust, you don't have to close your eyes when you are walking or using social media because when Jesus was being tempted the devil showed him all the beautiful things he said if you worship me I will I will give you all these things Jesus looked at them for a while but Jesus listen overcame <laughs> so using no social social media will help I know it will help but it's not the real solution many of us have done so many of, of us have deleted them but they end up going back to using them the solution is a strong connection with Jesus but the question is how do we have a strong connection with Jesus how can we be strongly connected with Jesus the answer is by by praying meditating upon his word and sharing the word if you do these three things if you love jesus and you do these three things overcoming lust will be automatic you know what if you do these three same things you love jesus and if you pray before you start the day whenever you face temptations the, the holy angels of God because you are sincere hallelujah because you are sincere God knows your heart because he has fire in his eyes nothing hides from him he, his holy angels will always do whatever it takes to deliver you so listen if Jesus for instance is the mango tree being connected to him you can't bear lime or you can't bear other fruits. You are to bear mango, you, m m mangoes. Because Jesus says, without me, you can do nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. Wow. Sometimes you have to talk to yourself. For instance, you go there, you see a beautiful girl, you say, wow. You see a man, a beautiful, you, you see a, a handsome man with a strong super muscles you say wow 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 but after five minutes you continue walking you, or you continue driving you you see you, another one you say wow after after uh, seven minutes after 50 minutes you see another one you say wow you have to talk to yourself you're saying 
you think you can have all the beautiful girls in the world you can't because listen you because you, Solomon I told you had all these concubines all these those wives but listen he was not satisfied this is all his vanity he had everything you see only when you have Jesus in your life you you will be satisfied just satisfied you will be joyful because after sin you know that there was a void in us only only God can feel it only God can feel it so the question that I have for you do you love your girlfriend do you love your boyfriend do you love your wife do you love your husband if okay if you say yes okay but um I will ask you another question are you willing to lose them right now okay if you say no I'm asking you not to do any stupid things that will help you mess up your relationship you know what you know what if your husband your wife your girlfriend your boyfriend hire a private investigator to follow you around will you be safe if they let you take a lie detective test will you be safe hmm. it's a personal question that needs a personal answer and then now i would i would tell you above all fear god above all fear god you will be successful successful because even if your girlfriend is not where you are your boyfriend is not where you are your wife your husband is not where you are because you know that god is everywhere god is watching the heavenly camera is upon you watching everything god has holy angels recording every actions every words eh? every day wherever you go they are recording everything if you just know that even if your partner is not there you will always be faithful <laughs> you will always be faithful please do your best not to mess up your relationship do not marry someone that you don't love someone that is beating you even before you before you marry them don't go and marry them someone you see that is cursing you you know that you don't don't say because they have money because they are looking good they have muscles they 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 are so beautiful or they are so beautiful you're gonna marry them you're gonna regret later on listen that's it for today love god love jesus meditate upon the word of god pray and share the word of god and you will be successful overcoming sin especially lust will be automatic remember that god loves you so much and i love you as well bye bye